In this video, I'm going to show you one of the new high-end plugins that ships with Digital Performer version 8. This is the Dynamic Equalizer. The Dynamic Equalizer is really three tools in one. It's a spectrum analyzer, it's a five-band parametric EQ, and each of those EQ bands has its own compressor. So this is a multi-band compressor, equalizer, and spectrum analyzer. Let's start off by sending a signal through the Dynamic Equalizer. And the Spectrum Analyzer is giving us a picture of the sound. It's showing us the low frequency and the high frequency content of what's going through the plugin. Now I'm going to bring in a low shelf filter. And I'm going to bring up the bottom end. All right, so we're just using an EQ here to bring up the bottom end of the drum mix. But now we're going to bring in the compressor. We'll lower the threshold. You can see the gain reduction right there. You've also got some meters over here. So what we're able to do is tighten up the dynamics. We can boost the bottom end and tighten up the dynamics so it doesn't get, jump out and get in the way. Now let's do this uh, for the high end as well, for the high shelf filter. Just put a little more brightness on the drum set. And again, just uh, watch out for uh, any peaks that might be coming through. Just a little bit of compression on there. All right, we go back to that low shelf. Get a nice fast attack there, one millisecond attack time a little gentler attack and release on the high frequency. Now let's check out the snare drum. We can solo a frequency band. So we're listening to just this frequency band. Let's tighten that down. The spectrum analyzer is uh, helping us find exactly the frequency to zero in on that snare drum. All right, so just a little bit of boost there, but now we're going to tighten up the dynamics, a little bit of compression. Again, a very fast attack time. We have a look ahead control here, so that means very smooth limiting. And a solo boost control if I need to uh, change my solo level, and an overall makeup gain control for the uh, overall equalizer. Take that out of solo mode. So now what we've done is we've put a compressor and an EQ on the bottom end that has nothing to do with the snare drum or the top end. If that kick drum comes in and kicks hard, the low frequency compressor is going to grab the kick drum, and it's not going to affect what happens to the snare and the cymbals. We'll bypass the dynamic equalizer. This is dry sound. Now we'll bring that dynamic equalizer back into the mix. And we've just tightened up and brightened up the drum sound. All right, now I think we've got a bass guitar that we can bring in. Let's solo up that bass guitar. You can hear there's a little bit of distortion on the bass guitar, and uh, let's see if we can have some fun with that top end. Let's engage that EQ band. That seems to be where that action is really happening. Now we're going to compress just the high frequency. So we've really tightened that sound up. We've made it present, but it's not getting in the way, and it's a completely independent frequency and dynamic control from what's happening in the bottom end. We could put another uh, low frequency compressor on the bottom end if we wanted to. We're just going to tighten up that buzz in the top end of the bass guitar. And this is the Dynamic Equalizer, one of the new high-end plugins that ships with Digital Performer version 8.